right, this video is how to import media from a micro SD card into Final Cut uh, Pro. First of all, you need a card reader, and this one's got a bunch of different slots for all kinds of different kinds of cards, like a regular SD card and then a micro SD card. Uh, you'll see on the back it's got a, a USB, which we're going to connect to this, which is connected to the back of my Macintosh computer. I just put it together. And then what we've got to do is we've got to uh, pick up our card and smush it into that small slot right there. And as you do that, as it goes in, it's going to light up this little red light on top. And that tells you that your card's inside and ready to go and can be read. All right, the next thing we got to do is go up into the computer. And I'm going to go up to File, click on it. It's going to give me a window drop down. I'm going to go to Import. I'm going to slide over to Media. And this is going to open up another window. In that window, on the left-hand side, you're going to see your Macintosh, some hard drives, and then you're going to see a volume. I'm going to click on the volume, and it's going to open that up. And in the volume, I have a bunch of clips that I shot with my small sports camera. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the first one, slide down to the bottom one, Press the shift key, bring your cursor over the one you want to import, and click on the mouse. And this will highlight all of them. And then I'm going to hit import selected. Bam. And there they go. They're sliding all in there. As you can see, here they are. I've got one, two, three, four, five. So now I'm going to create a new project. I'm going to go up to file. I'm going to go to new. And I'm going to slide over and click on project. It's going to give me a whole new timeline. I'm going to call this Kite Surfing in the Cold because it was 60 degrees yesterday. I was freezing my butt off. All right, here we go. Okay. And that's how you do it. Okay. So now you can see it's filled. But for some reason, when I import from this card, it's not giving me the little ball underneath. So I've got to give it a little bit of time. The way I can figure out if it's imported or not is to look up here at this ball. As you can see, I can click on this, and what it's going to do, it's going to give me this little window that tells me what's going on, my background tasks. And here it's importing media. We're about, oh, bam. So now it looks like we're good. All right. It also will uh, tell you, you know, if, when you want to share some media or you're backing something up, you're rendering while you're creating your timeline. This window gives you all of the background tasks that are happening as you're doing something else uh, in Final Cut Pro. All right, so you get rid of that. And, we're, and we've got a check mark there. That means that all those are in there. And uh, now we can detach that. So once you've got them imported, what I always do is I'll come down here and I want to clean this card. So I'll go, I'll drop down to the bottom of the page and open up my finder, click on it, and then go and find the volume. And I'll just grab the whole card and I'll pull it down into this garbage. Now, it hasn't disappeared yet. I go up into finder and I hit empty trash. Now this volume has nothing on it and I can get out of it. Now this card's clean and I can put it back in the camera for the next uh, session that I do. All right, that's it. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and check out some of my other tutorials on Final Cut Pro.